Hey guys, in uh, this video I'm just going to demonstrate how to use the port dynamically assigned by a service fabric in a guest executable. Uh, this is a follow-up from my previous video which shows how to run a Node.js Express application in service fabric. So I have that application open already and you can see the uh, service manifest for the express application is right here and we are not specifying the port now when you deploy this application it actually deploys into the local cluster at uh, C service fabric dev cluster data go app and then I have deployed uh, five instances one across each node so I can pick any of these I'll go app zero and we'll notice here's the express uh, code package uh, you can see the code inside it here as well. And you'll notice this uh, express endpoints text file is uh, generated here. Now this file contains the port service fabric gave this particular instance of the service. So as I mentioned in the Medium article, I updated the code to now uh, simply before starting uh, the, ex the express app, it just reads this file. Uh, notice it looks at the current directory, goes up two directories, opens it, uh, parses the string, which is a semicolon delimited uh, line, uh, and then uses the port here if it found one. And then it obviously would fall back to the environmental port or the hard coded one and listens on that port. And that allows us to run multiple instances of the guest executable. Uh, and you can see in the service fabric uh, cluster explorer I have uh, five different instances of this express application so if I open up uh, the one on three or 30,001 you can see it works go to node 2 which is 31,001 it also works and again uh, three you see they all have different ports but they're all the same app they're all returning hello world um, it's pretty cool. Uh, one sure th extra thing I want to note is uh, I originally had found this file while I was looking for a uh, console redirection output. So you notice back in here in the service manifest I have enabled console redirection uh, obviously with some automatic truncation there and those are going to be in this log file here and these can be kind of interesting to look at so let's see if I open this up with PowerShell here. So you see the out, uh, I'm actually outputting the argument sent to the app, the executable. I was hoping that maybe the port would be sent to the app, but it looks like it's not. Uh, I'm also logging the path to the endpoints, the endpoints file itself, and obviously what port, and then I just have some, some log statements for every request. So you'll notice if I go back to one of the instances of the app and refresh a few times, probably have to be on this one because that's node zero's logs. So I'll just click refresh a bunch, go back here, uh, reload these these files, and you see we have a, a bunch more logs now. So there you have it, uh, running a guest executable with the dynamic port uh, and many instances across many nodes. Thanks.